When you're using Minga on a day-to-day -day basis, all you need to do is check students' IDs. Obviously, for the most part, they're going to be showing you those on their own devices. However, if they don't have the device on them, the battery's died, whatever the case may be, you can view any student's ID within your school. First thing to do is log into Minga and go to Teacher Tools. In this ID tool section at the top, you can click View ID Dashboard. This pulls up every single ID within your school. So you can search by name and then click on View ID, the little picture icon on the right hand side. And here we can see this is what a typical student ID will look like. And on a mobile device, it's just a bit narrower. So we still have the barcode, which is readable by physical barcode scanners, as well as by the scanning app within Minga. And you also have two security features that let you know that this is a live and genuine active Minga ID. The first is the animated flash across the front. And the second is the live clock counter at the top. These, this clock counts up by the second so that you know it's active at that particular time and it's not a screen recording. As well as this, you also know that on the back of IDs, we also need to show hotlines and lifelines. So these lifelines are available at all times to all students, as well as any extra information that your school wants to add along the bottom here. Going back into the ID, we can see at the top here, we've got digital stickers. Now, stickers work in exactly the same way as your physical stickers or printed stickers would have done on physical plastic ID cards. But these can be added and taken away from large groups of students at the same time. They can be added just for a day, just for a week or for the whole year. You can use these stickers for things like ASB memberships, off campus lunch privileges, access permissions for certain events. Um, anything you can think of stickers can be used for. Three are standard appear on the top of an ID. If a student has more than three, they'll be able to scroll through to show you the rest and your Minga administration team can prioritize these stickers. So really that's everything that we need to cover for digital IDs. Next, we're gonna take a look at whole passes.